Good afternoon, welcome again to the Canadian Orthodox Broadcasting.ca. I'm going to make a rather brief broadcast this afternoon. There's a very important study, international study, that caught my attention this morning, and I followed it through a little uh, from other sources. But this is a, what they call a, a blue ribbon panel, a group of people who've been studying the war on drugs. It happens that sometimes, even when we're right, we're wrong. And the problem is that too often people approach social issues or other problems from an ideological rather than a pragmatic approach. Now very often this results in one saying, morally you're correct, but the end result is immoral. And the end result is often catastrophic. And we've spoken about not approaching issues from an ideological point of view, even one that's theologically sound, when we're dealing with social issues. The world doesn't operate on the theological principles. The world operates in the realm of the fallen human nature. And sometimes when we approach an issue from an ideological point of view, we, based in religion or in, in political parties, we end up creating more havoc, more problems, more disaster than we did before. Rather like in the 1350s when uh, the great pogroms against the Jews began in Spain and other places because religious fanatics blamed the Black Plague on the sin of tolerating Jews. Tolerance of Jews was supposed to have been the actual cause of the Black Plague for these people. And they began to actually burn Jews alive. Sometimes burning them at stake, sometimes just setting them on fire. Burning their houses down and persecuting them. A more contemporary problem is the so-called war on drugs. The war on drugs has had a very disastrous effect for several reasons. And this, this is a this, the study done by uh, former presidents of some nations and other scientists, sociologists, and a uh, very, very high-level panel. Now let's see what the war on drugs has actually accomplished and what putting more people in prison for drug abuse has actually accomplished. There were two ideas about the way to approach the problem with drugs. One was medical, the other was penal, uh, uh, you know, judicial. So the judicial idea won out on, on ideological grounds. First of all, the war on drugs is responsible for the deficits in the national budgets of a number of countries, and I would say particularly the United States, certainly Mexico, Billions of dollars have been spent in the war on drugs. Billions of dollars every year, going into the trillions already. And absolutely nothing has been accomplished, except that the war on drugs has made drugs a much more, narcotics a much more valuable commodity, so that people are willing to take higher risks in transporting, selling, and enticing people into the use of these drugs because the margin of profit is now so high because of the war on drugs. So it's enticed more people into the drug trade, for one thing. But it's also behind the spread of disease on a global basis. Uh, the use of drugs is really now the primary way that HIV or AIDS is spread in our world outside of Africa. And we find that the more often people are incarcerated or put in prison for drug use, the more HIV spreads within the prison, and the more times a person has been in prison, the less uh, able their bodies are to respond to antiretroviral treatment. A lot of people become upset or angry when we talk about harm reduction because they say harm reduction is not moral, because it doesn't uh, punish the people who are using drugs. 
Well, that is an ideological approach which is catastrophic. It has not only increased drug trafficking, made the commodity more valuable, made it much more enticing to lure people into drug use than it would have been otherwise. Prohibition have never been successful. We saw what prohibition did in the beginnings of the 30s. Uh, even during the Great Depression, illegal alcohol trade prospered. Perhaps more because of the Great Depression, because people wanted to drink more because of the circumstances. We have this huge drug cartels uh, in the United States, in Mexico, and other countries, in Canada as well, that thrive on our attempts at prohibition. Just as the Mafia gained its real strength, its real capacities, its real outreach, its real armies and soldiers because of the prohibition of alcohol. Some of the great fortunes in Canada were made by taking alcohol into the United States. The Bronfman fortune, for example, and others. So this is an, uh, the, the problem that we want to invite people to look at. There has to be, first of all, a more compassionate way to handle narcotics addiction because most of the people who are addicted to drugs really are in the state of having a, a serious medical problem that should be taken as an illness and treated as a medical problem. Treating it in a criminal fashion, putting more people in prison, the war on drugs itself, have been catastrophic failures. Not only have they been failures, but they've increased the spread of HIV, that is, the virus that causes AIDS, and uh, untreatable tuberculosis, as well as diseases we don't usually hear about because they're not uh, really what you call worldwide epidemics. We have a pandemic of HIV. And we could very soon have a pandemic of untreatable tuberculosis. And the war on drugs being fought on ideological grounds, even grounds that some people might think are theologically sound, because we're actually trying to stamp out sin, are doing more harm than good. And this is very often what does happen when we don't look pragmatically and compassionately at issues facing mankind. So I just wanted to invite people to think prayerfully and a little more humbly about how we should handle the narcotics problem in North America. Mexico is a prime example of a failed juridical approach. Mexico has been taken over by the drug gangs because, again, the, the war on drugs has made the drug traffic so profitable and so valuable and the profit margin so huge on drugs that it's impossible that it wouldn't lure even marginally criminal people into the trade and the activity. There are better ways to handle it more compassionate ways to handle it that would actually do much more good toward winning the war against drugs. So let's put out the war on drugs out of our mind for a moment and think about liberating people from drug use and ways that we could approach in a pragmatic way, in a reasoned way, in a balanced way, uh, methods for treating drug addiction, and for putting the criminal cartels out of the drug business. The war on drugs has been supported by drug cartels because they make far more money from the prohibition of drugs than they would from other more pragmatic and medical treatments of drug addiction. So I just wanted to ask people to think a little bit more about that and uh, think about it prayerfully, and give some consideration to the fact that 
sometimes compassion and reason have much greater results than blind ideologies. Thank you and God bless you.